Hello, this is Aaron and Sandy with Guild Portal. Um, we're going to be... Say hello. Hi. Okay. We're going to be showing you how to use the Banner Builder. Uh, what we've got here is a site. Now, most sites are already going to start with a... Uh, uh, yeah, a banner that says the name of their guild and it's been automatically generated for you. It'll be a graphic, but um, we're going to start with just plain text. Uh, so you open up the control panel and what the, the goal here is to make just a, a nice looking banner for your site. Uh, so, and you can just supply your own image and we're going to go to style tools. You can supply your own image for your banner in general, style settings and banner and then just paste the URL in there or you can come over here to what we're covering today the banner builder um, where you can also this is just another way to do what we just did select an image that's in guild storage um, and then select whether you want it centered or not but we're gonna go with a custom one and uh, you can st a generated one for us here on the site and you can see here's uh, the name of the site is demo site so that's what it put in there um, I want to say way cool site. Way cool site. Okay. And you can pick a font. Let's go with a big nice one. Um, size of the font you can set. Uh, opacity. So if you've got a banner background which is set up here with banner with a background image, um, you'll actually be able to see through the text to the background behind it and you can specify you know if if you slide it to the left you'll be able to see more and more and more through the text and uh, yeah and you can specify a start color so that'll be from the top uh, you huh that seems backwards I mean if that gets bigger then that should get I don't know hmm. sorry that's why you're doing the video well, opacity is getting big okay um, so you, you have two colors you can do on the uh, on Words. the banner uh, from top to bottom so we're going to go, because our site's kind of orangish, we're going to go with starting that, ending with, let's say that. See, the reason why he wouldn't let me do this is I wanted it to be like a neon green so that y'all could see the differences that we're making. Uh, yeah, not, not not because she wanted you to see them, it's because she those colors would appeal to her on orange. I don't like green. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and the outline is the um, kind of just... Well, it's the stroke, the outline to it, and you can specify the size of that as well. And then, if you want, you can have a glow. Um, let's update our preview. Let's update our preview. Uh, it, in this one, you've, you, if you want to see the changes, you got to update your preview. And there, you've got it. Way cool site. Let's get a little bit more different between the start and the end colors. Yeah. Like green. Update preview. Okay, fine. We'll do green. I was so kidding. <laughs> There. Okay. There. Now it looks like mud or it something. It does look pretty ugly. Um, then we can, we have some effects that we can apply. Um, we've got reflection, which is a kind of a perspective reflection where it's at, it's at an angle. Um, it's a bit like glass table, but glass table is just straight up and down like that, like it's sitting on a glass table. Um, we've got film strip, which doesn't always work out too well depending on the font. <laughs> um, and we've got perspective, which doesn't do anything set at no angle, but you can change the angle so that it renders kind of it. It kind of moves the back end of the text out away from you, or towards you in this case. So yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Um. And that's it for the text. We'll notice that it's um, in tabs and not a wizard, so it's not as easy to step through. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, debate from an earlier video. Yeah, while you were talking, I picked a red color for it to fade into. Yeah, well, that green was horrid. Mm. Okay, so you've also got banner backgrounds. Um, now you've got page background on the site, which is uh, you know along the back. And then behind the background, you've also got behind the banner. You've also got a background that you can have, and you can have a background image from community shared files um, or guild files. So guild files that you've uploaded. Um, I and don't know if I would look at that picture. Made with the flaxen hair. I don't know what that is. Um, that's your demo site. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, you've got community files 
And let's go with, so we got a bunch in here. Uh, yeah, we'll update preview. Okay, nothing there. Oh, <laughs> enable, enable banner background had to be checked. Yes, this one's really wide. Um, so yeah, make sure you check that. And you don't always want to necessarily auto adjust pages to the width of the banner background because this will mean that your page would be uh, 1871 pixels wide. I'm glad I didn't know it said that. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it's pretty neat code. Gets the image, figures out how big it is. I'm proud of it. All right, so here we've got one of my favorites. Um, and that's 1280 pixels, but I want my site to stay at around 1,000 1, pixels that I set up in general style settings earlier. Uh, I want the image, the banner centered. What? Well, you know, centered left and right. Um, you know, picture, pixels from the horizontal edge. So if I set it to left or right, I can say I want it 20 pixels off from the left. That way, if you've got a, a banner background that's got a guild logo or a character or something on it that you want to not be blocked, but you still want it to be left centered, you can put it out however many pixels you want. Vertical alignment from top to bottom. What other options are there? Uh, you know, middle, top, bottom. Okay, thank you. Uh huh. And that is. That it. Save your banner. Show it us. I'll save it. Now let's go back here, and there you go. You've got a, uh, a banner, and you've got a banner background. Awesome. I think that's about it. Yeah. Yep. I don't think you left anything out of that one. Out <laughs> of that one. Nice. Oh, yeah, I'm still not worried. About, I'm still not sure about that CSS one. Oh, yeah. Thank you guys for listening. And thanks for choosing Guild Portal as your guild's home on the web. Bye-bye.